Yeah, 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 I wasn't talking. Um, is the music too loud or is it okay? Uh, I just had it on because Roy Lee doesn't have any sound. Let me know if it's too loud. You wanna go, man? So we have Roy Lee versus Yu Soju. This is round uh, top top 64, first round, um, best of three. So the map they picked was the Eye of the Desert. We'll see. Um, so my guess is that Roy Lee is using Rachel Mercenary. And you so just using the Omega Mercenary since the for this tournament for top 64 you have to use a mercenary mercenary unit so that's my guess Okay, so the least second pick, which is pretty good against Dog. Alright, Aries and Nostal. Uh, not the worst bands. Um, Claret could be a little bit of threat here, though. Looks like Roy Lee is lagging a little bit. Um, hopefully, it'll get better. So he is going to pick up a Clara here, or he ain't. Um, he right now is not the best pick because the he is not going to kill Dealit unless. Actually, it is going to kill Dealit, um, but he picks up Yusuke instead. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Oh, by the way, how's it true? Is the music? Um, too loud or is it okay? Just have it on because he doesn't have sound. Okay. Okay, those are actually really good bands. Interesting that he picked up Iris here. Wilder is actually really good here, so um, Yusuke really can't do much since there's Gospel from Dealit, and if you have Wilder, should be safe from Yusuke. Interesting enough, Iris, huh? Okay. 
yeah um definitely not my stream my stream is good right now looks like it's really sliding though that looks like it's frozen let me try to refresh this page now I think um, if he had Weiler here it would be actually really good for you soju because Weiler is pretty good at getting um, getting rid of debuffs and the real threat here is Bozo right and you have to get through the landies to kill that Bozo so probably the best pick here to be honest is Omega because Omega is going to be able to attack Bozo. And hopefully... Omega should kill. I'm not sure about this Omega. Because it's mercenary. But... Um, if it was Skeleton, i die from Omega. As well as Omega. So if it's a good Omega, it should kill. And you also have Iris. So the only target for Omega this game is that Bozo. And once you kill that Bozo, should not be able to kill that juggler, which is D lit and Yusuke. Because you have one pseudo healer, D lit and Iris, so they'll protect you from two hits. But another problem is you so you actually get in through Roy Lee's lineup as well. Hmm. Cause the Landy is has two lives and Yusuke and he has two gospels, so Yusuke is not gonna get through. So Landius is definitely a problem for you, Soju. With this kind of lineup, you should have banned Landius and let him pick Juggler. Well, let's see. He does have chance with his 3C from Juggler. You can disable Quarren and then make plays from there. really up to Omega here um, and I believe you so should never use Omega before looks like so we'll see but that's actually decently strong Omega for mercenary so check the PvP enchants is, is pretty high pretty much maxed as a meteor enchant though that's a knowing strike I don't think knowing strike is necessary but he brought it anyway. Yeah, really, really needs to be careful here. Um, This map is actually pretty easy to survive from assassins, at least for maybe like 5 turns because of those pillars. Yeah, it looks like he's calculating the skill. Um, and that D-Lit too. <laughs> That's really low skill on that D-Lit, so it looks like he did not get any PvP enchants on that D-Lit.
162-ish, I think. Um, pretty close for three times. Oh, 172, sorry. Um, should be safe. But knowing strike kills any of these units, right? Even, I believe, Yusuke has high skill, I believe, but let's see. He needs to click on his Yusuke. I forgot to mention, but interesting enough, this Landy is, since he doesn't have to buff anybody, he's just guarding and he has his Ralph skill for stun. Not sure how effective that will be. And he does have gospel from um, Liana, so, and d -Live, so defense is fine. I mean, it looks like Roy Lee's units are pretty weak to Omega. Looks like he didn't really put skills into his units. Players really need to be careful with positioning here. And Yusoji just needs to make sure he moves his Omega last. Um, if Omega takes up Bozo, but Omega dies in process, uh, Roy Lee actually has advantage because it's pretty much mirror, but. Landius is just better at tanking when it comes to single target, so... And he also has Liana who can act again, and possibly kill Struggling with that, since there are only two healers. That Liana's actually positioned forward because I believe she wants to pick off. Okay, so he's jumping in now. So that D lit really wants to pick off one of the units because I believe he didn't have any magic guard. Um, at the same time, this jump could be a waste because that ignore guard skill from Bishak was really going to help him win this game because it's really hard to get through that land use so this might have been a mistake this omega cannot reach balls right now and 
Deedle it, really can't do much here. So. So he's gone now. He's gonna pick off the lit, looks like. Okay, that's decent because he gets to teleport back. Now that's gonna trigger Yusuke. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so I didn't notice, but you did not faction buff on um, that Omega. That's a mistake, right? Because um, <laughs> the has Star Yaring. And it's under Landius. So, yeah. That looks pretty GG to me. Yeah, might as well save that black hole right now because this Eunice needs to jump in. Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, so I mean, that was clearly a bait. And surprising because you didn't use Gospel on. There's no reason not to give Gospel on Omega, right? Yes, yes, this is a uh, Merc. And I believe Royley is using Rachel as a mercenary. Okay, so leg is a little better now. So the only assassin that can actually kill Dilit is Hie, because he has high attack. He's like a high attack assassin. Oh, yeah, this is not looking too good. It's very laggy right now. So. Let me see if, if I can fix this. Let me... Actually, it's getting better now. Yeah, it's actually better. Yep. yep, not too much damage here. And now we can get... So he can't even single target heal. So the Yusuke can finish this dog, I believe. Um, Deedla heal, heal is not going to be enough. And the only choice is to mass heal if he has it. Yeah, that juggler seems dead this turn. He can just kill it with Yusuke. Okay, so he's I guess the video rewind a little bit there. Um, he didn't move. OK. 
Okay, so he's just going to heal with the heal hammer here. I don't think that's enough. Even with that anger, that should kill. I mean, Roy Lee did say his stream was going to be laggy, but... Mm. Oh, he actually made a mistake there. Um, he could have used melee attack and that would have finished. That's probably why he used range skill there. But it doesn't really matter, right? Because he can still kill the struggler this time. Alright, let me try refreshing yeah, if that fixes again. Yeah, it looks like it didn't fix. It's just going to be laggy. Um, and the Omega actually tried to kill Liana, it looks like. And it looks like just the Omega plan is just failing, right? Because you, you really need to faction buff Omega. Omega's not very strong without support. You have to support Omega. Like He could have done a lot of things here, right? He had Iris. That's going to give him damage buff. And he could have just buffed with uh, D-Lit. There's, there, there was no reason to because Dilly already has faction buff and uh, from Yusuke. Yeah, I mean, just, just buff the Omega, right? And this game would have been so much different here. Uh, I'm not sure if it would have killed Dilly there. I don't think so because on trees and really Dilly has like 900 some defense. But. At least this turn he could have took out Bozo here. Um, even Liana would have died here. So. Um, after this match, I'll ask Roy Lee if he can fix the stream because it's looking pretty bad right now. And yeah, it's pretty much GG at this point. Um, just a couple mistakes there. But in the mirror matchup, if you, well, I mean, it's, it's almost identical because if you assume Bozo and um, Omega trade, it's just different tanks, and Landius just comes out ahead in single targets. So, I mean, if even if you made okay, so it's better now. Even if you made all the right moves, it was still hard for you. And your key unit actually here was Omega, who was actually who's decently strong there with the Meteor Enchant. But at this point, zero percent chance to win. But he's not giving up. Okay, kill Bozo.
Yeah, I'm not sure why Rudy's hesitating here. All he needs to do is just hug the tank and let Yusuke's uh, faction buff run out or the transform buff run out, which is next turn, and it's pretty much GG. Just hit him. Yeah, you can just end turn, just hug Landius. That's all he needs to do here. And looks like the lag is back. That's GG. Um. He's actually putting this super safe too, which is interesting. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him. You Soju said he never used Omega before, so yeah, you just have to know. I mean, important thing about this game is, is like you have to know what you can kill and what you can't kill. That's a huge part. All right, so loser gets to choose the player position here. Let's see if he swaps any units here. I think he's fine with this, to be honest. Yep, so he's gonna go with this. And looks to be the same box too for you, Soju here. So the super common band I've been seeing a lot is like the second band Luna. I'm assuming because she can faction buff, but it's only Claret, right? And on this map, Luna's um, 3C is actually not too good. Map is super small and it's, it's really hard to move around this map too. So. Okay, so he picks second D-Lit, which is always safe. I mean, good thing is he did Ben Landis this time, right? So, okay, so he's gonna ban MK and Claret. No, he's gonna ban MK and Yusuke. Or one healer. Liana, that's interesting. Because uh, Iris and Wyler is actually pretty good for Soju here. 
but Soldier didn't really take advantage of his um, Iris pick last game, so and looks like he prefers Iris over Wyler, and Wyler is probably four star ish, is my guess. He didn't seem comfortable using Wyler there. Okay, nice picks. I mean, nice bands. Seems okay. Hiei, though. Hiei is actually pretty good for Roy Lee. Yep, so it's going to be two healer bands here. Yeah, Hiei's not bad at all here. Missing chess? What do you mean missing chess? What do you mean, Pete? He's gonna have no problem killing this use game. I mean, no, no, chest is fine. Um, as long as I'm top 100, I'm happy with it, so. So it's just gonna be one, if he does trade for Yusuke, um, it's just gonna be one for one. So it's, it's mirror match right now. Well, only problem is Soldier's not gonna have a healer. But it's, it's not really a huge problem. He does have D-Lit and Rachel left. And it's, there's just no like huge threats coming from Roy Lee. It's just Claret and Bozo. Bozo, you could have kind of dealt with it with uh, Rachel and D-Lit. So. so it is going to be Claret. Still can't kill right now. Unless you give... Wilder plus or Wilder or Iris here. So it's gonna be Iris. That's that's definitely a kill. Um if it's Heaven's Guard it's hundred percent. And let's see if this Aries is single target or AoE. I mean, if Soju's Ares is capable of killing that juggler, then I mean, game's pretty. Game really is on his like his side, to be honest, because he has more damage units, and it's mostly just it's just single target units. So, you needed to give Roy Liana. Yeah. Um, I mean, even Wilder is fine. Well, uh, probably keeping Liana is the safest, but I mean, Clara still gets 15% damage from Sea of Miracle, and that should be able to kill. And Ares, generally, you need damage buff to kill Juggler, even without water. That's the safest. Yep. Um, and it's lagging again. Okay, so this Ares is just decent, probably five stars it looks like. Okay, so he is using Griffins here. Um, 
and you so just training is actually really really good looks to be max lobsters here and with gospel it's going to be close to thousand thousand defense i think but it looks like his hp is actually pretty low with griffin's 20 percent mm, it's really hard to tell right it really depends on your juggler usually not 100 percent kill So I would have moved up juggler one more there. I'm not sure if it's because he don't want to get in attack range from Clarence. But let me count ten. Yeah, he's still in range. He should have moved one more up. That way it makes you safer against Hie in case he gets Breeze and Ares can survive yeah I mean the quality is getting better <laughs> it's just on and off it looks like but since he has Yusuke things are not looking too bad even if he does get his juggler um, sniped so it's 1050 defense juggler so that's actually pretty good the hp is a little on the low side i'm not sure why enchant if it's steel that's 100 percent survive so we'll see yeah griffin with that landius buff and 20 percent damage is not too strong it's not reliable uh, with heaven's guard even with heaven's guard without landius faction buff it's not 100 percent So assuming that Clark does not kill, things can go really good for Soju here. He's counting spaces for his EA. Um, not close yet. He does have Iris Teleport, so he needs to watch out. If I were Soju though, I would have moved Ares um, last in position to kill. If you move Ares last, and as long as you're not in Hiei's range, you can kind of box him out, zone him out, because he can't Iris teleport. Or if he does Iris teleport, you can just move back and he just wasted it. And yeah, Ares is a pretty important unit for Soju, but he moved it second, I believe, last turn. So that's definitely a mistake. Okay. That is. I mean, after turn one, and if you don't initiate on turn two, it's pretty risky. Because, yeah, now you're gonna have Triton now. And you're gonna have. What faction buff? You just have too many buffs. He has Iris buff, the healing buff, and he has shield immunity, so that's two. Um, four from faction buff. 6 triton that gives you 2 buffs so that's 8 so I mean is the author not in your favor But even if Ares, Ares doesn't have to kill Juggler here, he could go for Claret or he can even go for Hie because he has pretty good units to kill Juggler here. So 
I mean, that's what I would do because units are so spread out here right now. And he's gonna try to bite bait the Hiei with the Rachel, looks like. Or he's gonna try to, do, yeah, he's just. He can teleport here safely here. Um, I'm not sure why he's moving his Aries first every turn. But trading the he a for Aries is not the best in my opinion. Probably trading for that use case is probably the best. Yeah, I will move Dila here. She's not doing anything this turn, so just waste that turn. There's not much to decide. The crucial units at the end here is Iris, Hiei, and Claret, because they control the zone. So Dila just end the turn. Same for this Dila as well. Um, actually, this Dila could come in handy. Encountering this EA. Okay, so he's stepping back. That's fine. So he's gonna. I would have actually. I mean, that's fine. He's keeping his use case safe from EA. Mm -hmm. This is not going to do much. That's that's a suicide, to be honest. But he could hit and run back, right? So, and it could actually be a good thing because you soldier doesn't have a healer, so he's gonna hit, kills lobsters, and he could just run back now, which is fine. Just end the juggler turn here. Hmm. Not sure if that's the best move. She needed to. She needed to go last to counter Hie. Now I think. He's going to pick off Ares. And nobody can reach the Hiei. That's the problem. Because Dila already used the act again. Which was a mistake. So the first mistake is not using Dila last. The second is he already used the act again. You needed to save it for Hiei. Okay, so he's not even going. Safe play. Yeah, the he can even reach one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, he can reach that Yusuke right now. So if you don't want that Yusuke to be killed, you can actually block. Um, go, go one space above Rachel or one behind Rachel and then up. But then if you do that, Claret is going to kill one of the units. 
or at least Aries, she can't kill him. I think this is a bait, right? It's gonna bait the Aries to come in. Is it lighting the Aries in there? Okay, so Claret cannot reach, so that's fine. Just move Aries back, right? Might as well. And I actually didn't see, but this Hiei could have brought... Um, okay, so this is going to be killed by Diglett. Not the best jump. He's just going to trade for one, right? So... You don't really need to get scared of Hiei, um, I think. Method made a similar mistake in the playoffs against Roy Lee. I mean, if you just move Ares back right behind Juggler with like one st two steps back from Juggler, Hiei can only kill the Rachel, so... I was, oops, I was, I was muted, it looks like. So, yep. So, Dealer's Miracle, Dispel the Water. Um, even with the Miracle from Dealer and 50% damage from the Ares, it might not be a kill. You need to crit. And even with the crit, it's not 100% kill. So, there's always risk involved. And 
you do want to use Heaven's Guard for easy kills. Yeah, water's not there because D lit dispelled it. I mean, uh, cured it. But that doesn't that doesn't really matter because it's still hard to kill full HP juggler with Ares. You need Heaven's Guard. Um, even with Heaven's Guard, it's not hundred percent. But he does have fifteen percent from D lit, so it's gonna help. But I really don't think that's a kill. Like ninety percent sure that's not a kill. No, it's it's fifteen percent, right? It's fifteen percent from D lit because he used Seer, Seer Merc last turn. Okay, this is not bad because he heals Juggler, right? And so he's gonna have water. So he's pretty safe now. That's like nine buffs there. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge deal that d used up the act again last turn on this small map. Now she can't follow up. There's only areas that can go up. You just can't just waste a turn moving up. So. Yes, water is back. Is not going to kill. Actually, actually, he can kill right now. Oh. He can just AoE and then kill Juggler, and then he can kill two units next turn. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter, right? Besides, I mean, Ares can teleport, right? Ares can teleport out the Hiei if he wanted to. But he can just kill that Juggler right now, so... So he's actually trying to see if he can snipe that Yusuke. That's why he's checking. Um, probably can, but I think it's kind of risky. Might as well just kill the Hiei. And then Rachel's almost dead too from Hiei. It's crazy. Okay. So he's just gonna kill the two units next turn. Yeah, yeah, it was going to be, but I think he would have killed Juggler anyway. He's actually pretty strong. No, attacking Iris is GG, right? Because then you lose turn priority. So if you kill Iris, then he just kills two units and it's over. I mean, Ares just doesn't do much damage when there's uh, water. He can't really do much. And this, I believe, is like five stars, and like average enchants.
and it's not Heaven's Guard. You need Heaven's Guard if you want to one-shot Chuckler. Heaven's Guard will allow you to one-shot Chuckler even with water if you have enough damage. And if you use something like Meteor Enchant. can kill that use king yeah that's 100% dead and then you can kill the Ares uh, Rachel doesn't really do anything He's out of guard range, doesn't matter because, because, yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, probably the only move he has left there. You really actually used up a lot of time, right? Um, I didn't even notice he used up all of his time. I mean, which is good. I mean, if you have time, might as well use it. Every game plays safe. That's how you win. And that is going to be 2 0. Roy Lee wins. So soldiers knocked out. He's he's uh, placing sixty four. Roly moves on to thirty two. And yeah, GGs. And tomorrow we have. I looked through and it looks like we have like three four matches tomorrow. So tomorrow's gonna get interesting. There's some fun matches. So stay tuned. We'll announce the schedule on the live stream channel. So check that. I believe the first game is around the first JB time and then there's a Mitchell game around 6 p.m. EST. So three hours after JB and then there's also more games coming up second JB time. So yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.